Hello guys I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. The official Nougat update for Moto G4 Plus was released one or two days back. Many of you guys were having problems and had a lot of questions. So I thought I would make a video on all of those common questions and I will also review the official update. So I'll start off with the questions first. First I'll give some basic information about the update. Uh, the security patch level is for 1st November 2016 and the build number is NPJ25. 9311 so it is the official december update for the moto g4 plus yes you will get further updates from motorola even after flashing this ot5 so the most common question that people ask is uh, uh, how do i get from the nogat soak test to this official update so if you are on the nogat soak test you first have to downgrade from uh, the soak test to marshmallow i have made a video on that you can check that and after you have downgraded you have to follow the ota procedure that i have made a video on before this the second most asked question is does this require a bootloader to be unlocked if you are downgrading from nogat soak test to the marshmallow version yes you need your bootloader to be unlocked but in all the other cases you don't require it to be many people were asking about the bugs and the problems that are there in the update I didn't find any bugs or any problems. I noticed some frame stuttering while opening apps, but everything else seems fine to me. I haven't checked the battery backup yet because I've been using this for around 8 hours now. After I go through some days, then I'll report on the battery backup also. So guys, before we go ahead with the review, press the subscribe button because it motivates me to make more videos like this and let's start. <laughs> I will let you watch the boot animation first. I find it very attractive to be honest. Hello Moto. I've already told you guys that this is the 1st November security patch and the build number is also the latest one. It is the official Nougat update by Motorola. The settings has been overhauled just like the settings menu in Nougat. In the developer settings menu, you can find the DPI option now. Keyboard has been updated. There are some new themes, uh, some new animations and emojis and one handed mode has also been added to this. The one handed mode has also been added to the Moto gestures. Now you can just swipe from the bottom to the right, left or middle to make the screen smaller in size and will be easy for one handed use. If you click anywhere on the black area, it will restore it to the normal view. You also have the multi window feature just like in Android Nougat. You can pre press and hold the recents button to open the multitasking menu in the same window and you can run two apps at a time and you can also switch between different apps using the multitasking buttons while you're still using the multi window. The quick settings menu has been overhauled just like Android Nougat. Moto has also added some features. If you press and hold the settings button at the top of the quick settings, it will enable system UI tuner and in that you can also enable do not disturb mode. It's just like the one which was in Lollipop. So guys, if you like this video, press the subscribe button because I'll be making more content like this and you can also watch some previous videos of mine.